Hello there, Captain Kildare, Mariposa PD. Well, I'm back home, a trip down to Arizona, and spending some time with my ex-sister, Heather. We got to, to liking each other and had an attraction for each other, but it turned out that uh, a little bit too familiar with each other. It's kind of started feeling a little bit weird because been brother and sister for all those years. And even though we got the, uh, the green light to go ahead and do whatever we wanted. Sometimes it's hard to take that feeling, you know, that uh, you pretty much grew up with and it's ingrained in your mind that it's your sister, even if it isn't. You didn't know it wasn't. You didn't know it wasn't. We had that attraction, but, uh, you know, as it turned out, it probably better just left to be brother and sister. Brother and sister by blood. I mean, blood isn't everything, you know. What What is, is what you, what you know in your heart and what you believe and what you think and how you feel. That's really all that matters. It doesn't matter about blood. I consider my stepdad my real dad. He's not even the same nationality. He's Irish and I'm German. It's not a big difference, but it's not the same. I love him dearly is just like as, as my dad, as I would love my dad. He's not blood related, so he's my dad. You know, Heather's my sister. I think we're gonna leave it like that. And I'm back on the dating site and I'm open to situations, different women. Another thing I was thinking about was Driving down to Arizona, a long drive. You know, if you think about it, three hour drive. And you know, I like to tell people I feel like I'm young, and I do. But little things like that, as you're getting older, take its toll. Three hour drives all the time, that, that would have been tough. We're gonna hold off. Driving to Arizona is tough. Turned out I was always tired when I was there. Figure out why, because I'm older. If you're young and you're a kid and long distance relationship, or every time you want to see your girlfriend, go ahead. Me, I'm a little bit older and I think I need to stick with people in my area. There are people in my area, I just haven't met them yet. I used to say, well, distance doesn't matter. But, you know, right down to it, it does. And I believe Heather knew it and I knew it. We both knew it. We weren't prepared to move there, and she wasn't prepared to move here, and neither one of us should have had to do either of those things. That we're gonna be adults about it, and we're gonna just be friends and be brother and sister. We're not gonna have a relationship. So that's where I'm at with that. It's sad, I'm gonna miss her friends that I met that kind of you know, started to become my friends too, I think. That's gonna be tough because they're some of the neatest people I've ever met in my life, you know, but they live in Arizona. I don't, so it's tough. Makes things difficult. So I'm gonna miss that. It's too bad we couldn't be friends anyway and visit once in a while, but I can't see going down every week. It just wasn't realistic. I mean, you, know, you need to be near your people that you're friends with and that, that you're gonna do things with and go to the movies with or go play badminton or whatever you're gonna do together. And you gotta be close by, you can't, live just 300 miles maybe it's a three hour drive what what is that Mom, you figure it out or ask google so to them i say i'm gonna miss you i really enjoyed the brief time that we had together i'm really gonna miss that we had such a good chemistry i'm sorry it's gonna end and uh, well, i hope it doesn't end completely but we always hope that realistically it probably is a fond farewell to all of you I'm getting back to what I was talking about as far as, as far as dating your sister. It's not an easy thing to do, even when you find out she's not really your sister. Think of them as your sister, even if you are attracted to them. Morals and you have ideals and things in your psyche and your makeup of who you are that don't allow you to feel relaxed with having, you know, relations with your sister. If you're normal, I mean, that is. If you're not normal, Maybe you're going to feel that and you're not going to have regrets about it, but if you're normal, your mind works properly. You know what I mean. If your brain works right, you're, you're not going to want to have relations with your sister. See the inherent problem is that sort of thing and watch just too much trouble. Plus, she lives a long ways away and I live far away from her. So when you're older, you're coming towards the twilight, you know, your final act, your curtain call. I don't want to get involved with somebody who lives three hours away. You can't stop over and have dinner. You can't get to know them very well. The only way to get to know somebody is spending time with them. Don't spend time with them, you're not going to get to know them. Leave it, uh, leave it as brother and sister 
And even though we're not blood related, we're still brother and sister no matter. It's like my father is still my father even though he's my stepfather. So you can take that and put it in your pipe and smoke it. I don't say that in a mean way. It seemed like the right thing to say at the time. Whatever. Have a good day. Don't date your sister. How about that? Talk to you later. Captain Kildare, Mariposa PD, for all of us to all of you, signing off. Looking forward to seeing you again. What's the, what's the legislation? How's it going to read? It's... <laughs> gonna read. <laughs> My sister gets a little confused sometimes, and that's it.